Hey there, I'm Marty Boardman with Fix and Flip Hub and my business partner, Manny Romero and I, we fix and flip houses in Phoenix, Arizona and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We've been working together since 2009 and since that time we've fixed and flipped just over 200 properties. And in today's training, I'm gonna show you how to find abandoned property owners in your real estate market. This is one of my favorite, very favorite subjects. It also happens to be one of my very favorite ways to find distressed property deals because you get the very best margins because abandoned property owners have abandoned their houses. They've given up. They figure uh, their house isn't worth enough to bother to try to sell. So there's some huge opportunities here for you knowing how to find abandoned property owners. And as you can tell in this photo here, the, the key to being successful in finding abandoned property owners is being a good detective. You've got to put on your detective hat, your magnifying glass and your, and your pipe and, and get out there and get to work being a detective just like you see on the CSI shows, right? So let me, let me kind of explain how that works, okay? In order to find an abandoned property owner, of course, you've got to find an abandoned property. You've likely have houses either in your neighborhood or your zip code, or maybe you've got houses you've driven by near your place of uh, business or where you work. Uh, so, so you want to write the address down of that property. So find it, write the address down and then of course you got to find out the owner's name you got to find out who owns the property so you can get to work and start your search all right so the next question you may have is well how do i find the owner's name marty well that's actually the very easiest part of this process uh, the first step is to to go to your county tax assessor's office or if they've got a website and type in the address or give the person at the counter the address of the property so you can find out who the legal owner of the home is so you can start looking for that person or persons uh, or LLC or trust whoever it happens to be now you could also knock on doors uh, knock on doors of the uh, you know neighbors next to the house on either side across the street and find out if they know the name of the owner of the property but that's not as reliable as going to your county uh, tax assessor's office or going on the website so once you find out the owner's name it's time to start your search. You got to track down that uh, homeowner. Now, here's some free tools of the trade I like to use. You can uh, first of all go to the county recorder's office, or or go to the if your county recorder has a website. Type in the name of the property owner and start looking at recorded documents in that owner's name. A lot of times, in those recorded documents, will be addresses uh, of, of of places they may work or or where they may live currently right so that's kind of the first step of course you'll probably find a recorded document uh, with the mortgage or the loan uh, uh, for the the lender for that property owner and that'll have an address and it's going to be likely the address of the property so that's kind of a dead end but you're looking for other addresses that you can go to to try to find that uh, that property owner of course you can search the criminal courts you can go down to your city or municipal court or county uh, courthouse and search criminal court records uh, you know a lot of things will show up there uh, could be traffic citations or if they've really broken the law and screwed up you can find possible addresses uh, aliases and, 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 and maybe even family members or known places of residence for that property owner there and uh, and then of course again you can talk to neighbors uh, of the abandoned property and find out hey do you know where this person may have went do you know where they may have gone you know how to track them down can i get a phone number or an address right so those are some free tools of the trade uh, you can also use paid tools which is where i've had the most luck the most success tracking down abandoned property owners now there's a really uh, a lot there's a lot of cool websites out there uh, checkthem.com uh, pacer which is a u.s court search and accurant.com now i just checked out uh, this checkthem.com the other day and here's the uh, here's their, their website this is a very powerful uh, website and uh, background check it's amazing i just did a test search uh, the the search only cost two dollars and 85 cents after typing in the first and last name of the person i was searching for and I found out a ton of information. Uh, and it, uh, the search again only cost $2.85. I learned uh, the subject's uh, previous addresses, forwarding address. Uh, I learned 
uh, about uh, I learned about family members, uh, phone numbers, traffic citations, an incredible <laughs> amount of information that's available out there on the World Wide Web here. And again, this is checkthem.com. And I, the search cost me $2.85. Now, I also mentioned Pacer. Pacer is a US uh, court, uh, electronic court record search. Just, just Google Pacer US courts and this page will pop up. And again, you're searching court records here, so this would only be if the property owner was in some type of legal trouble, which is, is quite current. You don't usually abandon a house unless there's some, some legal problems you might have. So, uh, of course, these searches cost between $1.15 and $2, but this is a, a per records search, not a whole search for the person in every, every walk of life. And then lastly, there's uh, Accurant. And when I first got started doing abandoned property owner searches way back in uh, 2005, 2004, I used Accurant. Now this is pretty expensive. It's about three, 400 bucks a month. And there's a pretty extensive background process you have to go through to get access to this. So I'd only recommend this if you're doing a ton of abandoned property searches. Uh, AccuRent is a very good tool for that, but you're not gonna really get anything or any information from AccuRent that you wouldn't get from this checkthem.com. So, but if you're doing a lot of searches, AccuRent may be the way to go, all right? So there are your uh, paid tools of the trade, all right? And uh, what you're looking for with uh, these searches is a new address. Uh, where did that abandoned property owner move to? So you're looking for any new addresses uh, that you can uh, go visit or send a letter to to try to get that abandoned property owner to talk to you about buying the house. Of course, you're looking for phone numbers as well, not just necessarily the abandoned properties uh, a phone number, but maybe family members, relatives, neighbors, friends that you can call and let them know, hey, I'm trying to get a hold of this property owner. I'm an investor. I want to buy their property. All right. And then lastly, you're looking for family members, phone numbers and addresses that you can either phone, call or go visit and say, hey, listen, I'm an investor. I'm looking to buy this property. Can you please put me in touch with the property owner? All right. Now, again, I mentioned you have to to be a detective here, a very good detective to find abandoned property owners, but if you're good at it, it's gonna really pay off. I've done fix and flip deals. I've made twenty-five to forty-five thousand uh, dollars buying abandoned properties, and I didn't have to compete against other wholesalers or other fix and flip investors or cash buyers because I was the only one who knew how to find that abandoned property owner. So this is very valuable information I'm sharing with you here today. And I mentioned I had to be a good detective. I love uh, the Harry Bosch novels by Michael Conley. They actually turned it into a, a, a TV series on Amazon. It's called Bosch, and I think they're on season five now. But Harry Bosch has this great saying. He says, uh, get off your ass and go knock on doors. That's what you have to do to be a successful abandoned property per buyer, right? You got to be a good detective and get out there and beat the bushes. But if you're willing to do this, again, you're not going to have much competition. And I actually had a, a, my very first abandoned property deal I found using Accurant. And what I did was I found a family member of the abandoned property owner, left a message uh, with that family member and said, can you please give this property owner my name and my number and have them call me a couple days later? The abandoned property owner called me. Uh, she actually was living in Hebron, Indiana, and the house was in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I flew out to her. I flew into Chicago, drove down to Hebron, Indiana, and got her to sign a purchase contract and a deed to the house. And by the time I got back to Phoenix, I'd already sold the property and made $25,000 in profit. It was well worth the money I spent on Accurant and the money I spent on a plane ticket and travel and hotel uh, because uh, I made 25,000 bucks. So this is a great way to acquire distressed properties and not have to compete against a lot of other investors. So be sure to uh, to use these tips and, and, and try this, this, this method, this technique. It will definitely work for you. And if you're interested in learning how to build a fix and flip business uh, that runs itself, uh, so you can fix and flip houses while you're on vacation or you want, you're looking for more spare time to spend with your family or friends, check out our Fast Track Flipping course. Uh, it's available on our website for 997 bucks, but we're doing a special promo this month uh, for $500 off. So check the link in the description of this video to learn more about that. I'm Marty Boardman with Fix and Flip Hub. Thanks for watching.